Hey guys, it's Soccer to Me, Soccer to Me, Soccer to Me, Soccer to Me Sunday. <laughs> and I got Miss Deja here. Um, I put her in this little mix and match Carter's outfit um, I found when I was going through the closet. And I love how it has like the different flowers at the top. And it also has the lace around the arms as well as the collar and these little striped pants. And I got these off of eBay along with the helmet bonnet. I just love handmade items. It just looks so beautiful and it's so cute. And I think they actually advertise these as hand mitts, but I don't know. They seem to look better as booties. So I love it and she looks super cute. They're not exactly the same colors, but I said they kind of blend well. So, I think she looks cute regardless. So I think I'm going to feed her a little bit and we're going to chat. Okay, guys, I'm going to go ahead and feed her a little bit. This is one hungry little girl. She eats about every hour to hour and a half. Tell you, tell you one thing, I did not realize that this sculpt was that small it's a true newborn size and I love it actually and it's good that I have two girls that are two different sizes because Kelsey is a zero to three months and Miss Deja is definitely newborn she fits Carter's newborn size and we all know that they run pretty small so And just to tell you guys a little bit about the new baby that I am expecting. Um, she's coming from overseas and should be here sometime this week. Um, she's already cleared customs. So I think the artist sent me a message yesterday saying she may even be here tomorrow. But I'm not trying to get excited about it considering I'm trying to save that box opening until Christmas morning. I think I can do it. Yeah, so... I want to make that an even more special time by waiting. And then I still want to spend time with the babies that I do have because there's quite a few that I've received in a short period of time. So, um, and a little bit more about her. She is a prototype, actually. Um, and I do have or have received work from this artist before not directly but um I do have one of her babies and I just love the way she painted that baby and I love the way she weighted it I mean it is awesome and I knew I wanted another baby by her but um I was gonna try to get it on a secondary market but this opportunity came up and it was bidding on eBay and it wasn't actually that high at first um so I placed a bid in and I don't know I don't know how eBay bidding works or private bidders I don't know how that really works but it seemed like at first I was the highest bidder and it was like that for a couple days and then all of a sudden there was a private bidder and seemed like you know, you put in the amount that they suggest you put in for your bid, and but you're automatically outbid as soon as you put it in. And when you look at it and it say that they put theirs in like three hours before or something like that, but for some reason I didn't see it until after I already tried to put my bid in and it keeps trying to get you to go higher and higher. So I only did it like three times and after that I said, you know what, if she's not meant to be mine then you know i'm just let her go but at that time before when i was the highest bidder i was like already picked a name for her i was getting ready for her i was excited and then all of a sudden with the private bidder just showed up i was like it was just not meant to be so but i still thought about that baby after the fact i was like hopefully this bidder won't pay or whatever and then come to find out i get a message from the artist saying that it was a non-paying bidder and I had a second chance offer she would accept my last offer and I definitely jumped on that I was like yes definitely so 
happy to say that she will be home soon. I did create a little slideshow um, showing pictures from the artist as the um, who she is and stuff like that. I might upload it. I'm still debating or I might wait to upload that. But I may share that with you guys. I think she's had enough. I am in love with this little girl. I do have to tell you that I did have a temporary lapse of judgment. I don't know. I think the ball head was doing it for me. That um, I did dress her up like a boy today. Just to see what she would look like. And I admittedly said no. This is not it. It was a turn off definitely as a boy. So I was like she definitely is a girl. So but she needs hair. I got to have hair on my baby. I really do. So but um, it's just a matter of being patient. And having the right rooter. You know so. Because I want her to look as realistic. As possible. So, I hope you guys are having a great Sunday. We are sitting around watching football, having a great day. Carolina Panthers just won. Yay! So, that means that Krispy Kreme will be having their dozen donuts for $3.99 tomorrow. <laughs> so, I may have to pick up one dozen. So, hope you guys have a great day and enjoy the rest of your weekend. And I hope that you enjoy this video. And thanks for watching. Bye.